Performing now, it is time to introduce you to the founding members of the band, the Rock Gods themselves. Please welcome Francis Rossi and Rick Parfit. <laughs> They're better than us. Well, yeah, it doesn't take a lot. More, doesn't doesn't take a lot does it? <laughs> well done, guys. That's good. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. Um, what's it been? Twenty years since you visited yeah. Australia. What, you know, what happened? Why did it We've take so We've been trying to long? get back. I mean, something must go wrong no between flights. agents, managers, airplanes. Yeah, I think it was mainly flight, yeah. it's mainly down. I mean, it's not the fact that we didn't want to come back because we certainly did, but sort of management and record companies and agents sort of couldn't agree, I suppose. So mm. it's taken a long while, but it's nice to be back, especially on sort of is it underwear day? <laughs> Nas <laughs> National Underwear Day. Excuse me. Yeah, are they lovely? Lovely. lovely. <laughs> we call them actually in in England. We have rhyming saying Alan Wickers. We call them. Alan Wickers. Yeah. Knickers. Knickers. Yeah. Knickers. Yes. Mm. I'm quick like that. Yeah. <laughs> I was catching up. Well, Okay, guys, what sort of undergear have you got? I'm Same colour as yours. <laughs> <laughs> right, quick. Sloggies, yeah. I think. Wait a minute. No, don't do it. Don't do it. To be careful. Whoa, <laughs> boy. <laughs> He's just realised he hasn't got any on. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> little survey map of South Wales down there, I think. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> careful now. Mo moving right along, gentlemen. Guys, status quo, um, 30 years of music, the longevity, the success, the popularity you've enjoyed. You have in fact been termed the Cliff Richard of, um, mm -hmm. of, uh, of heavy metal. How do you react to being called the Cliff Richard of heavy metal? I don't know. Cliff's very religious. That's about it. I don't... <laughs> Other than, other than the fact that he's been around a long time, I can't see that there's any resemblance or similarity. Cliff is supposed to be the, the Peter Pan of pop. And we're the Cliff Richards of rock, or did you say? Of heavy metal and rock Very and roll. weird, I can't figure that out at all, really. But So no response, basically, whatsoever. No, no. I'm so glad I asked. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good question, that. I don't know why they call him Sir Cliff when his name's Harry Webb. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Sir Harry Cliff Webb Richard, isn't it? Or something like that. Right. Anyway, lesser Cliff. Yeah, dickhead. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Funny rock and roll, isn't it? He's a lovely bloke. He's a lovely bloke. <laughs> so they say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, another interesting fact I was reading, you took legal action against the BBC. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing so good now. Yeah, well... Because should we drop that? I mean, I believe you took legal action against BBC One because they wouldn't play... It Your wasn't just because they wouldn't play the records. It was we were continuing to ask to do favours and, and but <laughs> nice showbiz favours. Uh, do uh, shows for them and uh, for their party in the park to celebrate their 25th anniversary. And we were the band the most wanted. And then they said that the records didn't suit. So the band took a, a view that we should try and do something. The manager said no, no, no. And we did something and made dickheads of ourselves. So that's us and Cliff, both dickheads, right? Because what they were saying was, uh, with the young hip executives who choose the music program for the station, said they're you know too old and out yeah, of date. I, I, I mean, but I suppose they, they, they had to move on. We we just. We just found it at the time very unfair, but I mean, somebody had to make a stand about it, you know, because mm. it's not only us that they weren't playing anymore, there's lots of, of acts of our age, and uh, indeed Cliff Richard, mm. and people like that. I mean, they're just not playing us anymore, so, but we have to accept mm. that now and sort of move on. But at first we found it very hard to swallow that, you know, we, after all these years of, of having hits and uh, there's lots of people out there want to hear Quo, you know, and uh, the fact that they just turn around and they can just turn around and say, no, we're not playing you anymore, just like that, we found a bit of an insult, but didn't do was any good so we just have to move on and go go with it really but 110 <coughs> million 110 million that was last record week, sales <laughs> cannot be wrong can they folks no. i mean we've got stat look at these people with the you know, status quo mad God fans here them. what do you think of status quo <laughs> folks best in the world welcome back you're that best in the world so a fortune that did <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, but you guys are so big. I believe Royal Dalton, in fact, even um, yeah. made mugs. Oh, <laughs> they certainly did, wouldn't they? <laughs> Tell uh, me about that. Well, we, we met so, someone. We were introduced to somebody in the dressing room at Wembley, and they said, we'd like to do these things. And you go, yeah, great. And then a year later, you're presented with this mug, and you go, oh, You don't really no. think too much about it, you know, until you go out and to the, again, to the again, place yeah. of manufacture, wherever that was, I can't remember. And uh, you, you see yourself there. And we're, we're the first living people or something. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, we're the first, first ones living that are, that are living, done. that have had it done. Everybody's died, and then they, uh, they're mug made. So. But I'm lucky, because maybe, one... maybe they know something we don't. But I don't know. There's a hole in the top to drink from, and it lands just there, which is excellent for <laughs> me. So I go, but Rick's got a hole in here, so it's... Silly but little things, though. What's it like having your face on a mug? You feel you like, feel like Prince a mug. Prince, like a mug. Prince, <laughs> Prince Charles and Diana. It's a mug shot, isn't it? It's a mug <laughs> shot. It's a... It's, 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 it's an honour. It's a great honour. Mm. And there's a limited edition, I think. They, they made 2,000 uh, sets of them, and they, they all went. So, it's great. Mm. They're in our lofters with all the records. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, we bought them all. Yeah. You're still having fun. We yeah. enjoy ourselves, yeah. yeah. That's the main thing about the whole show, is that we enjoy being on stage. It's very nice to come out uh, to this neck of the woods uh, as well again, you know, because we've been touring for the last 20 years in, in Europe and, and other places. It's really nice to be back here again. Look at it's it's, it's a pleasure to, to be on tour, not so much the travelling, because, the, you know, the travelling can be a bit of a pain, but as Francis says, just the being on stage is still great. Yeah. Well, I could see the way you're doing it. I mean, you must do show and interview after interview, show after show, but uh, you looked as if you are enjoying it, otherwise you're faking it real well. <laughs> yeah. No, only women can no. fake it, apparently, can't they? Oh. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> oh, we're just going off on all sorts of tangents today. But guys, have a you great uh, great tour. Status quo, by the way, you can see at Twin Towns uh, tonight, Tweed Heads. There's some dates up on your screen. Enmore Theatre, up to Tweed Heads Festival Hall, right around the country. Work, work, so, work. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please thank Francis Rocky, uh, uh, Rocky, <laughs> Rocky as well, and, uh, and Rick Parfitt from Status Quo. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Still to come on midday, radio opinion maker Alan Jones and terrific music from Christopher. But next, retired cricketer Craig McDermott. Stay with us. Yeah.